Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue that says the remote connection was not made because the name of the remote access server did not resolve. And you're getting this issue on the VPN settings within your modern UI settings window on your Windows 10 computer. So, pretty specific issue and hopefully this tutorial will be able to address that problem. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. First thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, left click on the start button one time, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevate command line window, you want to type in the first command here, which will be IP config, all one word. So again, IP config space forward slash flush DNS, all one word attached to that forward slash. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Next command you want to go type in here will be NETSH space WinSock space reset. So again NETSH space WinSock space reset. Hit enter on your keyboard here. Should say you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset which are just restarting your computer and hopefully that's resolved the issue. I've also noticed that sometimes there could be some antivirus interference, so if you have a third party antivirus included, especially if there is firewall protection, attempt to disable that temporarily and see if you're able to run this application and we will not have the issue again. So attempt to temporarily disable your third party antivirus firewall protection and see if that is what is causing the issue and then you could set up a rule to exclude that from being detected. That's always a possibility. I know a lot of third party AVs will do stuff silently so you don't have an outward notification about it and you might not realize that something's being continuously blocked. So it's definitely something to take note of. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.